Joining us on the couch today is celebrated New York Times bestselling author Peggy McCall. Great to have you here. Uh, you're currently working on your ninth book. The first six books that you published were uh, self-help books. The last two were marketing because there really is a correlation between what a writer is able to put down in words and actually getting the book out. That's, uh, that's one of the keys that's going to be part of the seminar that you're doing tomorrow night. Correct. And one of the things that I discovered very early in my author career, thank God, is that 5% of an author's responsibility is writing the book, 95% is the marketing. You see, I had written the book and thought, wow, my work was done, but it's not. It's really just beginning. So it's really important to understand how to market your book, and that's why I decided to do this event for authors. Whether they have a book or they don't have a book, they're coming out. I think what you've said is a, is a great celebration of people who are trying to write a book for so many different reasons. Yeah, for sure. And everybody has a story. Everyone has a book in them, or maybe two or three or four or five. You see, when I wrote my first book, I didn't expect to write another one and then another one. But, you know, it sort of transpires. You know, you write one, and, it, and it's almost like an addiction of sorts, but a good addiction. And then you realize, I have more to share. And, of course, we're always changing and evolving. And then you get feedback from the readers, which gives you more information that you can share with others. At, you know, at this seminar, are, what kind of people are there, you know, people looking to write books that are fiction or autobiographies? Like, what do you see in, in the mix? Yeah, there are. There are authors that are coming that are wanting to write about their own story, kind of like a memoir of sorts. Then there's some others that just have an idea and they want to put it down and create a fiction book. And then there's some self-help, you know, folks that have a profession of some sort or have an interest in a specific subject, you know, maybe professional speaking, and they want to write about that because the, the book can be like a business card. Mm -hmm. You know, it's an instant credibility builder. You write your book and then you say, hey, I wrote this book. It's like, wow, you know, you, you're an expert in that subject area. So those are the types of people. We've got a wide variety of folks coming out. Are they often looking for your story? Because how did you first start getting involved in, in writing self-help books? You see, I, I self-published my first book, printed 3,000 copies, had them sitting in my dining room, and nobody was buying them. And it was like a rude awakening that I really needed to have. So I learned how to market on the Internet. So I started marketing on the Internet. I was selling thousands and thousands of copies. And I thought, oh, well, okay, this is great. I was a single mom, wanted to stay and work from home. I didn't want to be vacant from my son's life. So then I wrote another book, started marketing that on the internet, and then another one. And I started selling it to all these countries all over the world. And then other authors started calling me and saying, what are you doing? We <laughs> want your help. So I started helping other authors, and I started doing bestseller campaigns for authors. I put many books on the New York Times bestseller list from the comfort of my home. That is amazing to see. And do you find, though, that they're, they're valued, that these are good books that deserve to be on, on a, a list like that? Yeah, that's a great question, because here's the thing. You know, at the end of the day, the number one best way for a book to go big is word of mouth. So it must be a great book. I mean, look at the, <laughs> the series Fifty Shades, right? Word of mouth. Everybody's talking about right. it. That's how I heard about it. I mean, I don't know how you heard about it. It was word of mouth. Word of mouth, exactly. So you do have to write a great book. Sure, you can do all the marketing you want in the world and get it into the hands of readers. But if they don't like it, they're not going to tell other people. So writing a great book is part of the formula for success. Uh, the seminar is going to be offered tomorrow. Give us a couple of quick details. Is it still open to people get involved? Yes, okay. it's open to public. They can just go to the website and register. It's totally free, information packed. We're starting promptly at 6.30, so come on out, get registered. And we're going to talk about how to make your book a bestseller, no matter whether you've written it yet or not. Also about how to get ideas and how to construct your book and get it written quickly. All right, there's a lot that can be covered at 6.30 tomorrow, and it's at the Travel Lodge. Travel Lodge on Carling Avenue. Travel Lodge on Carling Avenue. It was a pleasure to meet you. Thank hey. you so much.